In this video, I'm going to reveal what it's like to live in Urbana, Maryland in 2023 going into 2024. So if you're considering moving here, this is the perfect video for you. So let's just dive right in. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Brady. I'm a realtor here in Maryland, and I make videos like this every single week about what it's like to live in and move to Maryland. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you for being here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And with that, let's dive right into what you should know about living in Urbana. And the most important thing to start out with is that Urbana is not an actual city, it's a neighborhood. So people that say they live in Urbana actually live in Frederick in the Urbana neighborhood. But every single person that lives in Urbana will say that that's their city. Everyone thinks it's a city, it feels like a city, there's a public library, there's everything you can think of that a city has. So I can totally understand why people say that, but just so you know, when you're searching for it online, it's going to show Frederick as the city where the homes are located. And speaking of location that's one of the biggest draws to living in urbana is it's right on interstate 270 which is the main commuter corridor from frederick down to washington dc so for those people that need to work in montgomery county or washington dc this is the ideal location if they need to drive down you can get to dc in about an hour you can get up to frederick in about 10 minutes just a great central location for those needing to commute to work and Urbana has been ranked the number one place to live in Frederick County, and this is one of the reasons why. It's also ranked 13th best in the entire state of Maryland for best places to live. So why is this? Well, let's look at the ratings from niche.com to see why Urbana ranks so high in these categories. So for public schools, they have an A plus rating. They have a B plus in housing, an A plus at being good for families, an A minus for jobs, a C plus for cost of living, an A for outdoor activities. There's no rating for crime and safety here just yet. They have a B for nightlife, an A- minus for diversity, B- minus for weather, A- minus for health and fitness, and B- minus for commute. And all of those ratings look great except for cost of living. And when we're talking about cost of living, the major thing that impacts cost of living is the cost of either rent or mortgage. So let's talk about the Urbana real estate market really quick. There are over 4,100 homes in the community of Urbana, and almost every single one of those is either a townhouse or a single family detached home. There are very few condos in Urbana. There's a few that we'll talk about in just a minute, but if you're moving to Urbana, you're most likely gonna be looking for a townhouse or a single family detached home. And townhouses in Urbana are gonna be priced somewhere between 400 dollars and $600,000, with the average price point for a townhouse in Urbana being about $500,000. And if you're seeing townhouses houses on that lower end closer to four hundred thousand dollars then they're most likely going to need a lot of work a lot of renovations and they're probably one of the original townhomes that was built in urbana when it was first developed and if you're looking for a single family detached home in urbana you're most likely going to be paying between seven hundred thousand dollars and just over a million dollars for these homes and there's a big reason for this this area is highly desirable for families because of the schools and the amenities so having that extra uh, space in the floor plan having the those extra bedrooms in the yard is highly desired. It's a hot commodity here in Urbana, which drives the home prices upward. And I only see this increasing over the years to come. And just to give you a little snapshot of the real estate market in Urbana right now, going into August of 2023, where inventory is low all across Frederick County and all across Maryland, Urbana itself only has five existing homes for sale out of over 4,100 homes. That is incredible. That's I've just never seen that. I've been here for almost a decade and that is an incredible stat. So that the inventory is so low compared to Frederick and surrounding areas, and that's because Urbana is just so highly desired. So I think we're gonna see a lot of this in the near future. I don't see really any cause of inventory entering the market. The real estate market is extremely strong in Urbana. Now there is some good news. If you are in the market for a 55 plus community, then there is an option for you on the southern end of Urbana. There are brand new homes being built in the Woodlands community of Urbana. And this community started off with condos. And like I said, those are very hard to come by in Urbana. And those sold out extremely quickly and they were sold very recently. So it's unlikely that they'll be coming up for sale very soon. But Envy Homes has opened a new section of single family detached homes, which is already on sale. And those homes are gonna be being built throughout the next couple of years or so. So some great options if you're looking for a 55 plus community. 
And just to give you some details on those homes, they're craftsman style homes and the sizes range anywhere from 1,766 square feet up to 4,271 square feet, which is pretty massive. And they have flex options for rooms anywhere between two and six bedrooms. And these designs have been updated with a variety of smart features. They have LED lighting, they have curbless entry owner showers, they have Wi-Fi enabled garage doors, and plenty of other convenient features for 55 plus active community members. And these homes are selling from the mid 700s up to the mid 800s, and the lots are being snapped up extremely quickly. I think they're gonna sell out as soon as they become available. So again, the Urbana real estate market is really hot. There's no signs of it slowing down. It's a great place to live so i think this is just going to be the story even if inventory increases all across the state and county i think urbana is going to remain low because they're just getting snapped up all over the place and that's not the only reason that people like to live here the homes are great but the amenities are great too and what prompted me to make this video is that they just added a bunch of great new restaurants in Urbana and I was thinking I need to make another video on Urbana to talk about these and everything else going on in this community. So the development I'm talking about is on the southwest side of Urbana by I-270. It's a brand new commercial uh, development that has restaurants and shops within it and I'm even going to one of the brand new restaurants today. It's called Akira Sushi and Ramen. It's an awesome looking place. I'm really excited to try it but there's also the Big Greek Cafe, and there's Little Cakes and Creamery, which is right there. And you also have chain restaurants. You have Chipotle, you have Popeyes, you have Jersey Mike's, uh, you have Tropical Smoothie there. So a lot of new options. And that's on top of the dozens and dozens of options that Urbana already has in its original development. So there's just so many places to go, so many places to eat within Urbana. So it's no wonder that people just love living here. And the stores and restaurants and shops aren't the only amenities in Urbana. If you like being active outside there are tons of walking and biking paths all throughout urbana you could go for miles and miles on these paths so it's a great place if you want to stay healthy and be outside they also have a brand new ymca gym so just a lot of great outdoor activities they have their urbana district park and the urbana community park there's a dog park so a lot of great things to do outside and there's three pools in urbana so if you you know on those summer days it gets really hot and you're out on these pads you want to go cool off they are huge awesome pools right in the villages of urbana and speaking of health there's a brand new urgent care being built right in the center of urbana and that means that you'll have two urgent cares right in Urbana itself. And obviously I hope that you don't have to use them, but having them there so close by is very convenient, especially with a community this large. You don't have to go driving up into Frederick or down into Montgomery County like you used to have to. So having that nearby is great. There's also plenty of medical and dental offices right in Urbana. So when you're thinking of your health, Urbana is a great place to live with so many convenient places located nearby. And the long and short of this video is that Urbana is a great place to live. If you're considering moving here, you will not be disappointed. There is everything you need right inside of Urbana. There's also everything you need within a really short driving distance of Urbana. You can go up into Frederick extremely easily, extremely quickly. You can also drive down south into Montgomery County for pretty much anything you need, anything you can think of is within a 10 to 15 minute drive from Urbana, which is so nice. It's such a great place to live. And I highly recommend considering this as a place that you're moving to when you're considering moving to Maryland. And if that's you and you're considering Considering moving to Urbana or any of the surrounding cities, I would be happy to help you. Please reach out to me. My information is listed below. I also have a scheduling link in the caption where you can set up a private consultation with me to determine where the best place for you to move really is. I would be so happy to help you with that process. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about moving to Maryland.